In our videos, we use this device with five small steel spheres to illustrate the law of conservation of energy and how it applies in car crashes. Now let's take a closer look at a collision between two larger steel spheres. Each is about half a kilogram or one pound each. Now I'm going to use my energy to give them energy of motion. Do you remember what we call motion energy? It's right, kinetic energy. So what do you think is going to happen when I bring these together with a lot of kinetic energy and they collide? You ready? Got your prediction? You know what? I think I need some help. Hey, Kendrick. How you doing? Kendrick works at the VRC's Crash Test Dummy Calibration Lab. Kendrick, you're going to help us make some observations, okay? Okay. All right. So, got a couple of heavy steel spheres here that I'm going to give energy to so they have kinetic energy, and then we're going to crash them together and see what happens at that crash point, okay? Okay. Now, to better help us do that, we're going to put something in between them. So, we better put on some safety okay. goggles here. All right. And we're going to put just a regular sheet, normal copy paper, okay? Right out of my Xerox copy machine, all right? Hold that up right up there. Okay, now I'm gonna give them some energy from my energy, all right? They'll have energy in motion or kinetic energy and then they're gonna crash together and we wanna predict what happens when they crash together, okay? Okay. Right, everyone, make your prediction. Ready? One, two, three. All right, observe. I see a hole here. All right, good, see a hole. All right, now let's make some more observations on that hole. Let's do that again. Okay. All right, so hold it tight, here we go. One, two, three. All right, now observe those holes again. Tell you what, close your eyes and bring it closer to your face and observe. You could smell like a burning smell. Yeah, you can actually smell, it's burned. So the kinetic energy that these balls had when they crashed together, some of that kinetic energy turned into heat. Enough heat to actually burn the paper, okay? And in fact, take an even closer look using this magnifying glass at those holes. What do you see? You can see the black edges yeah. like it's burnt. It's even, Definitely. you can see the burned rim of the hole, right? Right. So we've got some of the kinetic energy transformed into heat. Let's do it again and try to observe if there's more energy transformations, okay? okay? All right, so I'll tell you what, close your eyes again, that worked. All right. Ready? You, could, uh, you can feel it, like through my hands I can feel the energy. Oh, excellent, so there you just had a transfer, it's still kinetic energy because he felt that moving energy up into his hands, excellent. Anything else? Uh, you can hear it also. Definite. So there's an energy transformation too. So there you have the kinetic energy transforming into sound energy and that sound wave comes to your ears. Okay. All right. Tell you what, we're going to switch roles here. I'm going to let you crash the spheres together. Okay. But this time, instead of using this paper, we're going to use some aluminum foil. I'm going to hold the foil. Okay. And you're going to crash it together. But first, let's just do one crash. Ready? All right. Whenever you're ready, go for it. All right, all right, take a look where they crash together. All right, what do you see? You can see an indention, uh, look like a ring. Like a ring, yeah. Tell you what, let's put some more energy into it. All right, all right so if we want to give the balls more kinetic energy. What do we do? We move them even move them faster. faster. You got it. All right, so move them faster, give them a bunch of kinetic energy. Excellent. All right, now take a look. What do you see? You see more rings, they're actually bigger, and then it goes look like it's going from inside out. Oh, beautiful. So the rings are actually moving outward, okay? What do you think that is? What causes those rings to move outward? Well, it's actually the energy. It's the energy wave from that crash, that energy moving outward from that crash point creates the waves. And in fact, the harder we hit it, the bigger the waves. So how's this related to car crashes? Well, the law of conservation of energy still applies. All that crash energy must go somewhere. So where does it go? Well, some of it goes into little bits and pieces of the car that break and fly away, each taking a little bit of the crash's kinetic energy with it. Some changes forms or is transformed into heat 
or sound, like we saw earlier. But a lot of it is transferred into the work energy it takes to bend or break the vehicle structure. Engineers design vehicles in order to keep that crash energy away from your body. It's that energy that can cause injuries.